Tirunale Borvar's love for the Lord Shiva knew no boundaries, and as such, he would constantly continue to dream and think about travelling to Chidambaram and seeing the once in a lifetime sight of the dancing form of his Lord. Though he continued to serve many temples near his home in Ardhanur regularly through his work, the wait for his dream became unbearable. One day, Tirunale Borvar decided it was time to realise his lifelong dream and suddenly gathered enough courage and actually set off for the holy town of Chidambaram. Upon arriving in Chidambaram, he felt blessed and thus fell to the floor and prostrated in respect. As he got up, even from a distance, he could see the smoke billowing from the multitude of sacrificial fires and rituals being performed by the numerous learned Vedic scholars and Brahmins there throughout the town of Chidambaram. He also heard the powerful sounds of mantras being recited by many Brahmins from all directions. Experiencing all of this, Tirunale Bovar suddenly remembered his own birth and clan he grew up in and felt scared to venture even a foot further into the town of Chidambara and froze in fear for he felt inferior and unworthy of even setting foot into the holy town let alone entering the temple premises. He thus experienced immense pain and sadness having tried so hard to get to this holy town but then not feeling he was worthy to travel closer to get a glimpse of the Lord in the temple in Dille. Realising he had come this far to the town, he wanted to make the most of the amazing opportunity and started circumambulating around the whole town and its walls without setting a foot further into the town itself. This continued for days and with each passing day, his internal questioning of his birth grew and he continued to worry about whether he would ever see the glorious dancing form of the Lord in Chidambaram. He continued in this form of worship of circumambulating around the great town until one day, thinking about his birth and how the vision of the Lord was out of his reach, he lay on the floor and started sleeping. The all-loving and merciful Lord could not bear to see his dear, pure-hearted devotee in such distress and wanted to grant his wish. The Lord wanted to clear Tirunale Bovar's self-doubt and thus appeared in his dream and stated to his devotee, O oh, noble soul, do not grieve. Take a fire bath tomorrow and come to me by joining with the other Brahmins. Tirunale Bovar was thrilled to see this in his dream. The Lord had no problem with Tirunale Bovar's background. Why would he? For he only sees the pure devotion of his devotees, not their birth and clan. Through this incident, the Lord wanted to share his devotee's greatness with the rest of the world. At the same time, the Lord appeared in the dreams of the Brahmins of Dilli and stated that his great devotee had come into town and would need to have a fire bath tomorrow. Accordingly, the next morning, the Brahmins came to where Tirnale Povar was staying, told him of their dreams and took him along to the fire bath they had prepared. Tirnale Povar readily agreed and went around the fire and then with the Lord's name on his lips and with his mind fully focused on the lotus feet of the Lord, he jumped into the fire. To everyone's astonishment, the very Tirunale Povar who had jumped into the fire re-emerged out of the fire with a new body smeared with ashes, with the holy thread wrapped around his body and with matted locks for hair. The Durvas in the heavens sang the praises of this divine soul and showered Tirunale Povar with heavenly mandare flower petals for they wanted to pay their respects to this legend who with the Lord's grace defied the natural elements, defied societal norms and defied the physical barriers of devotion to reach his ultimate goal of experiencing the sight of the Lord's cosmic dance. Tirunale Povar then accompanied the other Brahmins and was taken inside the temple to worship the Lord. There, inside the Kanahasabe, he worshipped the Lord wholeheartedly and then went into an ecstatic dance, fully absorbed in his love for the Lord. A dazzling light was then seen in the room and Tirunale Povar was nowhere to be found. He had become one with the Lord. Thus, Tirunale Povar's name became etched into history and became one of the 63 Nayan Markel for future generations to remember the legendary deeds of this wonderful soul. Not only did he prove to the whole world that a devotion has no barriers, he also showed 
that regardless of whatever background or society you are from, the Lord lovingly accepts all. Even if society disagree and put barriers in place, the Lord will break down those barriers for his loving and pure devotees. Such was the impact of Tirunale Bovar Nayanar that many great saints since his time have sung his glories in their compositions. Let's take this opportunity to explore some of these songs.
ஓ ஹேவ் த லெஜண்ட்ரி திருநாளை போவார் நாயன